the spread of debris in a large radius around each tower. What we see is an outward explosion of material beyond the perimeters of each footprint. And this is not expected, and it's not congruent with the reports of our government. Large, multi-ton beams were hurled hundreds of yards laterally. Gravity works vertically, not laterally. So something's happening to throw these things horizontally at those kinds of speeds. And here it is trailing white smoke the whole time. It, it really is indicative of um, some kind of explosion. The individual explosions that I noticed 20 and 30 and 40 stories below the collapsing structure. And uh, naysayers tend to say, well, that's just air being blown out the windows. I mean, it doesn't really work to say it's just air pressure. And I estimated these are coming out faster than 100 miles an hour. The floors pancaking upon themselves would create gushes of air out the side, but not the kind of explosive force that we saw that would throw I-beams across the street into the windows of other buildings. The uh, ejection of the materials out of the building, the manner in which it fell, the speed at which it fell, exhibited all the signs of demolitions and the completeness of the destruction down to their individual elements. When the South Tower was destroyed, at first it looked like it was going to land in the street or take a building out next to it, and then all of a sudden it disappears in this huge cloud of smoke. There were two substations on the 108th floor, uh, the 75th floor, and the 41st floor, and the 7th floor. Uh, at those eight locations, there were four transformers in each substation that weighed over 30,000 pounds. The transformers would not explode on their own. They were air-cooled, dry-type transformers. And yet, after the collapse, there was no evidence of them being found at the bottom of the towers. Uh, I wonder why. As an architect, I would expect to see um, larger portions of the building floors, uh, the decking, the steel decking, the concrete topping, much larger remnants of what the structural components of this building was. After all, there was 110 floors in each building, and each floor plate was over an acre in size. And there's no concrete. There's very little concrete. All you see is aluminum and steel. What happened to the concrete? The concrete was pulverized. And I was down here Tuesday, and it was like you were on a foreign planet. All of lower Manhattan, not just this site, from river to river, there was dust powder two, three inches thick. The concrete was just uh, pulverized.